Good afternoon. This is Ryan Payne filling for Bob for the market update. And it was another solid week on the street of dreams as good news was actually good news with promising remarks by the Fed and a stronger than expected jobs report on Friday. All three major U.S. stock indices set weekly gains with the Nasdaq posting a 2% gain, S&P 500 adding 1.1% and the Dow ticking up 0.2%. The biggest market swing came on Wednesday when the Dow climbed 700 points on the hint that the pace of interest rate hikes will ease as Fed Chair Jerome Powell confirmed we could see slowing rate hikes starting as early as December. Interest rates have begun to cool as the 10-year Treasury bond now sits below 3.5%. Easing financial conditions takes a huge weight off the U.S. economy. On Friday, labor data released showed a red-hot jobs report as payrolls rose by 263,000 in November, a bigger gain than the 200,000 increase expected by economists. Wall Street pundits somehow have been trying to spin this as a negative, suggesting the economy is too hot. I don't know how you feel, but creating more jobs for the American people, can that really be a bad thing? Average hourly earnings jumped 5.1%, against the same month a year ago, and the unemployment rate remains at the ultra-low 3.7%. So, with financial conditions easing, real-time inflation coming down, U.S. gas prices now plunged towards $3 a gallon, and a labor market that remains strong, the economy doesn't look so bad. In fact, I'd go out on a limb and say, pretty healthy. If you're thinking to yourself, it's time to get my head out of the sand and put together a game plan for my financial health because the world probably isn't about to end, here's your shot to do it. If you've saved over a million dollars for your financial independence plan, simply call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. My dad, Bob, and I have a collective 75 years helping individuals just like you with your financial planning and investing at 844-752-6692.